Hello everyone and welcome to this video. In this video I'm going to show you a new project of mine. Me and a friend have been wanting to make one of these for a long time and um, now it looks like it's time to do it. So it is of course a drone or a quadcopter. So in this video I'm going to go through some very basics about them and um, where you can get these parts cheap. Okay. So of course you need a frame and I'm going to show you where I got this cheap from. So I've got the frame and this will be made out of a hard material but almost an unbreakable one too. You don't want any cheap um, parts that can break when you have a bit of a rough landing. So you need the frame and this comes with the these plates here to tighten this thing together. Then of course you need the motors. They're not ordinary motors though, they're quite special motors and um, they have different ratings and the ratings are usually um, how many revs per volt and yeah y you need higher than normal um, amount of revs per minute so when you buy these motors they come with the propellers or at least they should do anyway and I got mine in a pack of four okay so you've got the motors and the frame now initially I thought well I'll put an Arduino in there as a flight, flight controller and control the speed of the motors but you can't do that. You need something called an ESC, or you need four of them actually. Well, you can either have four, or you can have four in one. But the ESC would lie across the frame here, and here, and here, and here. You need four of these ESCs, and the ESCs are basically speed controllers. And they control the speed of these motors with precision. And precision is key, because if you don't control these motors precisely, one could go faster than the rest, or, or you know, could go slower, or they'll just not synchronise properly, and you won't be able to fly with stability. You you'll be all over the place. If you're trying to go forward, maybe one of them will lean to the right or left slightly. Um, or in the case of you're flying upwards, if one, it's, say this one here was slower, these three would go up faster, and this one would sort of hang down a little bit, which would um, which would pull the whole quadcopter over to one side. Anyway, so the control of the motors needs to be precise. Right, so we've got the ESCs as well now. The other thing you need is of course the flight controller, which I haven't really got into at the moment and I don't know a great deal about it, but I'm hoping to use an Arduino. And with the Arduino I'll control the ESCs and um, control the um, the anten you know the NRF as well. Um, so yeah, that's the flight controller. I've just touched on it then. We need, of course, a, a receiver or a transceiver, depending on what you're trying to do. I'm going to use a transceiver, and I'm going to use the NRF module. I've done a video or two about these in the past, but I'm going to use an NRF anyway. Um, so that's what I'm going to use to transmit and receive data from and to the quadcopter. And last of all, you're going to need some sort of thing, some sort of way of power in this thing. And I'm hoping to use uh, lithium ion batteries. And I'm not exactly sure how I'm going to fix them on yet, but that's what I'm planning on doing anyway, using lithium ion batteries. Uh, cells, sorry. So I'm going to get these lithium ion cells cheap, and then I'll make a charger and a discharger. And um, yeah, it should be good. So lithium ion cells, and I'll show you how I'm going to get those cheap in another video. But for now, I'll show you what I've got up to now and how much I paid. So to start with, the frame. So here's the frame. It cost me six pounds sixty-three from this seller here, BG two seven CYF, and you can see here um, DJI F three three zero. This is what I've bought. Let's go down here. It's from Hong Kong. Yeah, so. There's the frame that I've bought, and this has arrived actually. When I get my camera back, I'll um, I'll show you more videos about this. Okay, so there's the frame. I'll move on to the motors. So the motors are quite a little, quite a bit more expensive. Twelve pound seventy. Um, twelve pound seventy. Oh, I got these from the UK actually, so that's interesting. From Costco buy, and these are one thousand kV. Which, if I remember rightly, means about 1,000 revs per volt. Okay, and they're A2212 13T motors. I can't remember exactly what this means, but I think 
22 is the diameter and 12 is the the amount of the rotor which sticks up above the, um, the the motor I think it's something like that but this number means something I can't remember quite what uh, the repeller size is and let's see if there's, oh, there's a better picture there there you go so they're quite posh motors really so I've got those two now the ESCs I didn't know exactly what to get really so I've got these 30 amp I don't see how I can go wrong with 30 amp I don't really know how the motors are going to take that amount I think the motors probably take about 10 amp 4 to 10 amps or something like that so I've got 30 amp um, ESC again I don't know much about these but I know they control the speed so I had to get four of these and they were three pounds twenty two each so that's about 12 13 pounds and they're from Malaysia um, let's see if it says anything else about this down here no, it just says it's for quadcopter. Oh, there you go. Features. Um, Simon K firmware. Again, I don't know much about that. Highest efficiency. 100% NFET design. 100% efficiency. I've never... In all the time I've been doing electronics, I've never seen anything that's 100% efficient. So, I don't know if I believe that, but whatever. Highest accuracy with crystal oscillator. Temperature will effect. Blah, blah, blah. Low voltage cutoff. 16,000 hertz. Wow, that's fast. Um, before you buy these, you should make yourself familiar with somewhat experimental nature of Simon K from. Uh, like I said, I don't know anything about that, but I will find out anyway. So here are the ESCs. Um, let's see what's next. Ah, the NRF modules. So it's the NRF 24L01, which I've worked with before. I've got a video, or a couple of videos about this. But this one looks different. It looks different and it's got an antenna, so hopefully there'll be some um, increase in range. I paid 195 for it, that's that's very cheap. And actually, I got two of these. I got one for the uh, drone and one for the transmitter. So, yeah. So what it says here, 2.4 gigahertz, yeah, okay, so I've got two of those two, and then for the transmitter, see I was thinking I can make my own transmitter, which I may or may not do now, but anyway, I bought this slide uh, potentiometer, £1.26 from CXX9999, and this will control, control the speed probably, and I've got two pieces of this which will control the forwards backwards and banking left and right uh, maneuvers if you like and also I may need one for um, for I don't know what it's called but it's like turning on the spot so I may need another one for that too all right so I'll just show you the uh, project again so there you go so that's what I'm trying to build or that's what I'm gonna build and then um, they're the parts I bought up to now. Um, I think they're probably very cheap as well, really. They're the cheapest parts that I could find at the time. So there we go. So if you're interested in drones and quadcopters um, and you want to build one, hopefully this will be useful to you. All right then. Thank you for watching. Bye.